Hi, John O'Halloran is my name. I'm from University College Cork from the School of Bees. Behind me you can see those mighty beasts. They're the European bison. Can you imagine one of those charging through your forest? Well, what's of interest to me is that part of my research is in UCC and my research group look at the ecology of forest ecosystems. We've been involved in a whole range of projects looking at the impact and development of the forest estate in Ireland. Ireland was once a very, very forested landscape. Can you imagine it? Almost 100% of the countryside forested. We lost all of that in our history and it formed important parts of construction and houses down to 1%, just 1% of the natural forest remaining. We have now started to regrow that and we're planting it with new species of trees which bring new opportunities and new challenges. But it's a very important industry, very important employer in regions of the Western Ireland and the north, northern parts of our country. In doing so, there is an opportunity to see how research can inform the design, the shape, the community composition of these. And I guess one of the things we're missing now is some of these large mammals like you see behind me. Behind me, this is a European bison, a very rare, large mammal that occurs in forests. On a recent research visit to Poland in the Beavija National Park, on the eastern side of Poland, on the Belarusian border, these animals roam wildly. Our colleagues and I held a workshop there looking at the impacts and development and opportunities of uh, forest development on biodiversity. So biodiversity being all diversity of animals, plants and, and fungi that live in ecosystems. And you might say why and how do these very large animals live in these woodlands? We expect in woodlands to be dark perhaps. We also expect them to be perhaps sound of birds, smaller mammals. These are browsers, rather like the deer in our modern forests today. If you go into any forest in Ireland today, there are large concentrations, and in some cases large concentrations, of both wild deer in the western part of Ireland, particularly in, in Killarney and Kerry, and the eastern parts in Wicklow. But in the more fragmented sections, you get them coming out into meadows like this, coming out of the edge of the forest and grazing um, on the, the, the grass. But these animals much rather be inside in the, the forest. Some of these animals weigh up to three tonne, which is incredible, considering they're eating woodland biomass and they browse. So you're walking through this massive forest in Bay of Asia. It's about, I walked for 15 hours without seeing the sky. We're walking in this forest and you see these almost cow paths as you walk across through the, the forest. And what these animals do is they browse, feed in the, in the open areas, they break things up, they browse, they provide food through the nutrient and waste in the ecosystem. So if you like, what would be really nice if some of these guys could get out of here today and forage in some of the forests around us and give an opportunity to open up the spaces for biodiversity to thrive.